as his car was coming in, he rolled down the window and he was watching my audition. And he looked at me and he said, done, done, done. They are not trying to make a negative character's hero. We are just trying to tell a story of what happened exactly. This guy doesn't even look like Harshad yeah. Mehta. And you know, there's nothing like Harshad yeah. Mehta was fatter and stockier yeah. and all of that. After educating the world with bull and beer trading, the team is back with another scam. So, welcome to IndianExpress.com. Gagan, I'll start with you. We got to know that you were the first choice to play Telgi. How did that feel? Uh, uh, at that time, I felt pressure because I didn't audition bhi nahi tha. because Mukesh Chhabra ji told me that you only to do it and you have to do it. So, I said, okay, I'm going to audition. Pe aata and then I gave the audition and uh, he was not very happy with it. He said that it was not fun. I said, mujhe, just give me two, three days time. I need to prepare for it and I'll come back and I'll tell you. And then I prepared myself with little improvisations and I tried to make the character a little interesting. And then I gave the audition again. So that time was a pressure wala time. Uh, when I gave the second audition, uh, uh, Mukesh Chhabra sir was not there. Uh, his assistant sent the tape to him and after the audition I was going out of the office and his car was coming in. And as his car was coming in, he rolled down the window and he was watching my audition. And he looked at me and he said, done, done, done. <laughs> And I said, okay, okay, thank you. And I was going back home and within half an hour, Hansel sir called me and he said, Gagan, you're doing the role. Wow. Then the pressure was gone. Then I left it to Tushar sir, Hansel sir. <laughs> I said, no. Okay. Uh, yeah. Then the pressure was, I said, okay, now, now we will take it. And Samir sir, tell me, was the success of uh, Scam 1992 made you guys decide that you want to carry on with this franchise or was it always planned? It was always planned, but I suppose the success of 92 then, you know, only reinforce that, yeah. that we should do the next season and the next season. So then we sort of embarked on it and we looked around for stories. Uh, we didn't want to do the same sort of milieu and uh, the same sort of context because yeah. then the comparisons become even more. In any case, there's going to be comparison because, you know, everyone see 92 True. and now this time 2003 comes and that excitement and, you know, how audiences are and how in general people are, yeah. which is fine. Mm, but we thought that we'll tell a story which is very distinctive from the first one in a different world, different mm. time, different place. So even though in a sense they are overlapping stories, because I think the Arshad Mehta story was about mid 80s to <coughs> late 90s yeah. kind of thing, or till 92, till that period. And this story is from mid 80s into the mm. 2000s. Yeah. So in a sense, these two characters actually lived and operated at the same time. Absolutely. In their own way. Uh, but their paths never crossed. Uh, but then they were two different worlds. So it's quite interesting. Yeah. But it's also like walking on a very thin line that you don't want to make a negative character hero, uh, the hero of the show. Tell me about that uh, aspect of it and how did you guys walk that lane? <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't think it is uh, 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 these series uh, or uh, even Scam 1992 and uh, 2003, they both, they are not trying to make a negative character's hero. We are just trying to tell a story of what happened exactly mm. and other aspects of it which are not covered by maybe media or yeah. news uh, at that time. Uh, uh, what goes through their mind, maybe, you know, uh, how it impacts uh, the people who are close to them, like family and uh, uh, other uh, people, and how it impacts the whole thing. So we don't want to make hero, we want to actually tell a very cautionary tale about, yeah. see, uh, if you do something like this, it's bound to destroy yeah. you, you know. So that's how I think uh, we're trying to present it. Uh, but yeah, when you're making anything for entertainment purpose, you add a little drama and you add a little mm. uh, uh, masala to it. But, but that's that you have to do, otherwise Absolutely. it will be a documentary and no one will yeah. watch it. Like, yeah. you know. you so we are not making a documentary, we are making a dramatic series. And Samir sir, tell me, because you're making a project like this, how do you kind of control that temptation to cast a star maybe or a popular face have someone of course Pratik did amazingly well like it was meant to be and you've amazed us from the trailer <laughs> itself but as a producer <coughs> like how do you kind of take a step back and figure out that no the role demands this actor will take him rather than a popular face well actually you know for for roles of this kind specifically you want to stay away from a star okay because you know I think stars come with their own baggage they come with their own aura, their own sort of reputation and that tends to often dwarf 
uh, the character that you're talking yeah. about. That's why if you take if you take movies, uh, we most often remember the hero's name. We don't remember the character's name, mm. right? Uh, whereas in this series business, you want to remember the character. Yeah, the character is going to be bigger than the actor yeah. Yeah. in that sense, and that's why you need great actors to come and immerse themselves into the character to the extent that, like when Pratik Gandhi strode onto that stage and became Harshad Mehta, actually in many ways I know many people of that time who said that he is when they first saw the trailer, the very first one, yeah. they weren't so sure. They said that this guy doesn't even look like Harshad yeah. Mehta. And you know, there's nothing like Ashut yeah. Mehta was fatter and stockier and all of that. But from the moment he took it on, he owned it, mm. right? And that's that's the important thing. Absolutely. So I don't I don't think uh, shows of this kind uh, need stars, and in fact, stars are uh, would do a disservice to it. Tujan, I think you'll also agree to it because, of course, your film where actors played older characters uh, that received a little bit of a backlash. Uh, here, of course. It, do you think the medium requires that or do the medium give access to filmmakers to cast an actor rather than just a popular See, I'll tell you what sir said is right. So when I went out and I was doing two things at the same time, I was also doing a film called Shri, Shri of course. with Rajkumar Rao. So when I told my friends who are non-filmies and who stay in town and my school friends, so they asked me what are you doing? So I said yeah. I'm doing Abdul Telgi and I'm doing Shri. They told me and both are true stories and they said oh, Abdul Tilghi's character, so uh, who's playing Abdul Tilghi's character? But when I said Shri, they didn't say Shri. Oh, Rajkumar is playing it. So the oh. people in OTT, I think, are more about characters, yeah. okay? And that's great fun because you don't actually, that's the best part that right? you have to see him act. He is more Abdul Tilghi than Abdul Tilghi is. <laughs> I keep on joking that if Abdul Tilghi was alive, the kind of nuances yeah. that he has done, the kind of things he has done, he would copy him now. <laughs> so it's, it's great fun doing uh, shows here. Of course, the big problem that's coming out of this, of course, is that each time they do an amazing performance, then they become a star. Yeah. Right? So then, you know, then it, we are running out of actors now. Yeah. And good directors. <laughs> People who watched the show told me that you're just amazing. You transformed yourself completely. Tell me about the preparation of becoming Telly for you. Like, how did you kind of get into that character? Um, see, uh, it all began with uh, my meeting with uh, Hansel sir and Tushar sir uh, after I was locked. Then I had to wait for a certain time because uh, the production was still getting into uh, the uh, lot of things that preparation that was happening. Uh, then I met him and uh, I was given two three instruction to keep it simple, to not to make a caricature out of it, uh, not to copy any uh, anything from uh, uh, what I, what you see yeah. on on online or anywhere. Uh, first read the script, try to understand what we are trying to say, and. Uh, Keep it honest. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, and then another thing that was told me, to me by to, to uh, give it a little uh, uh, authenticity to the character, I needed to gain some weight. Okay. Uh, so I put on like uh, over a period of time, I put on like around 18 to 20 kgs. Wow. Uh, then uh, I was provided by the a nutritionist who actually made a food plan that was given to me. Ki kitne baje kya khana hai, kitne baje kya peena hai. I tried to follow it as much as I could because I'm not a foodie, so it was very <laughs> difficult for me. Uh, but uh, I tried my best yeah. and then uh, the other part was um Uski bhasha kya hogi, uska lehja kya hoga. So I went to Khanapur, I, I recorded people talking over there, spoke to vendors, local people, got the recordings, tried to incorporate those in the script. And then I started working on the body language by look, looking at the photographs or whatever it was mm. available online. And slowly I just stitched everything together and tried to make a character. And I showed it to Tushar sir and Hansal sir. And they were very uh, happy with it. And that's how the journey began. And that was the whole preparation. And Tushar, lastly, tell me, of course, because you've also been a writer, uh, when you take on a real story, like how difficult does it get? Because just to have words emerge into a story, into a storytelling process, tell me about that experience. See, when you take a real character, it is very interesting for me. I perceive that as yeah. a very interesting fact because, like, Telgi was a great character for me to just to direct the show on Telgi. It's a very interesting character, so it is. It's a great fun because you know what it, there is yeah. a certain amount of benchmark to it. You don't have, need to completely follow because never two people are never going to look. I tried my best in Sankhya. Sankhya that's what you said, and I fell. I, there were like people said that you should have casted two old ladies, but the fact of the thing is, I wanted to cast two. I never said that, but I want. I was making it with two old ladies, but there were no producer backing it. Absolutely. So that I, that's the problem that we also face as makers. Definitely. So 
I just it's just it's so fascinating making because there are so many like sir sir there are so many stories to be told that people don't know about. Yeah. Now suddenly everyone is saying oh Telugu we know but no one knew about Telugu actually hmm. the way it is said in the story people will come to know a lot more more, more about him than what it is. So it's great Absolutely. fun to do the stories. And tell me because you both kind of lived that experience uh, one quality or something that impacted you about Telugu. मैं तो सुबह से वही बोल चुका हूँ वन थिंग इज फॉर शो दैट दैट वन थिंग फ्रॉम आई लर्न फ्रॉम वेल मेकिंग द शो एंड ऑल्सो वेल डायरेक्टिंग इट और रीडिंग द स्क्रिप्ट एवरी टाइम यूज अंडर प्रेशर एज इन वेन एवर यूज टू गेट कॉट इज टू कम अप इन बिगर उटिंग 